happening. Well, right off the bean, we're going to get to this. We got some big updates from the 2020 election race, and I'll tell you all about them in tonight's Doing It Donkey Style. Honest <laughs> Ice! The Democratic candidates have been hitting the fundraising trail, and we got some surprising results. The number one moneymaker this last quarter was Pete Buttigieg, <laughs> who raked in a whopping. $24.9 million. Oh, That's oh. a lot of booty judge booty bread right there. <laughs> He's even raking in cash in the Big Apple, where he raised more money from New York City residents than New York Mayor Bill de Blasio. Now, I will admit, that sounds bad. Whoa. Does not sound good. That sounds that bad sound until good. you consider the full headline says, Pete Buttigieg raised more money from New York City residents than Bill de Blasio got nationwide. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Well, Mayor de Blasio, you may not get the job you're applying for, but the good news is there might soon be an opening in South Bend, Indiana, because <laughs> the Dairy Queen is hiring for the summer. It's seasonal work, but you get free samples. We also found out which celebrities gave to which campaigns. We learned that actress Gwyneth Paltrow hosted a fundraiser for Booty Judge at her home. She personally donated $2,800, which is enough to go on Goop and buy half an ounce of cellular repair crystals. <laughs> Pete wasn't alone in nabbing big celebrity donors. Elizabeth Warren saw donations from Bette Midler, Ryan Reynolds, and Shonda Rhimes. Shonda Rhimes, that's surprising. That's bold. For a candidate to associate themselves with scandal. <laughs> Maybe, perhaps, the most surprising news is that Steve Buscemi gave Bill de Blasio's presidential campaign $5,600. Steve, are you okay? I just pray you're researching a role where you play a man who goes insane and votes for Bill de Blasio. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>